Hi, I'm Dennis Gage and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're in Sonoy, Georgia for the Cruising to the Old East Car Show. You know, this is the town where they shoot The Walking Dead, but today it's not about zombies, it's about killer cars. And there's a lot of them here and what a cool little town. So let's get around and check out some of these Georgia rides. How you doing, man? Good, thank you. How are you doing, Dennis? This is a nice little town. Oh, we love this town. Sonoy, Georgia. Sonoy, not, not Sonoya. Sonoy no. <laughs> Even though that's how it's spelled. Yes. Sonoy. <laughs> it is really a beautiful town. I mean, this downtown is so, I don't know, it's just, it's just, it's, it's pretty. And the beautiful shops and restaurants on either side. This is nice. Yeah. And well, have you always done the show right downtown? Right downtown. We've been doing this is our 13th year doing it. Well, this is a bit of a mecca for a lot of reasons, because Sonoy is where they shoot. Walking, walking Dead, right? Yeah, Walking Dead. Walking Dead is shot right, right over. over there. Well, we have no zombies today, right? No, no zombies. zombies at all, right? No zombies. But how many cars do you have? There's roughly about 400 cars here. Man. Is that, are you capped out there? Or? We're capped out at 400. You just can't handle anymore. Can't handle anymore. The town's so small and quaint that that's about all we can handle into. <laughs> but you got them packed in. And again, I just I just love the look. Everybody seems to be having a blast here. Yeah, they are. And there's a mix of all different cars here. Yeah, there really is. I've seen a little bit of everything, a yeah. wide range. And, and again, I mean, families and everybody's just having a blast. Yeah. And I've seen, some, I've seen some pretty cool cars. Let me show you a couple of my faves. What do you say? Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> well, Chuck, this, these are interesting cars. Uh, I was just getting here. When you came rolling in with these two, what looked like Lister Jags to me, I went, well, that's a nice grouping. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're obviously replicas, but wow. I mean, you built these, you build these. Right. You also, I, I learned, built the Shogun. Hey, like Jay yeah. Leno's Shogun, you built those. Yeah. Well, now the, the Shogun was actually a uh, Festiva with an SHO engine in it, right. which was pretty insane. So this is modeled after a, a Lister Jag? It's a fairly accurate copy. You make a body from the original, and then none of these cars were very accurate. They were right. hand-hammered race cars. Right. So it looks like Hillebrand's wheels, is it? They ran Hillebrand's on the Chevy-powered cars when Hall and Shelby imported them. I couldn't get a wheel I liked, so I carved some centers out of mahogany. We've had some castings made. We've made our own wheels. How about these vents? What are they off of? Uh, that came from the hardware store. It's <laughs> some <laughs> aluminum extrusion. You, you do what you, you can. You do what you got to do, right? <laughs> right. Well, well, I like the windshield too. I mean, that's really a that's a well, perfect this, windshield. This is off of our Porsche Spider. It's an original Speedster windscreen. So you modify the shape of the cowl slightly so it'll fit. The original cars, of course, was just skins. Zeus fastened over a chassis. Right. But we go ahead and close the car up. We put a large usable trunk. We have doors that would actually, you know, they, yeah. they work like real doors. In other words, we tried to civilize the car enough that you could use it on the street. Well, so you got the, you know, the headrest fairing here. What are the taillights off of? Uh, these lights were used on many of the British cars, TR3, MGA, okay. and a Lister. Can we open the bonnet and have sure. a look? Mm -hmm. Well, that's nicely uh, hinged too. Man, that's a beefy frame. By running four inch 95 wall, you keep the weight down, keep your rigidity up. There again, is sort of the same idea as the original car. The engine set quite a ways back. They did, they set back in your lap. Zero to 60 on this car with a 308 gear pulling a 221st is 3.2 seconds. <gasps> So <laughs> it's reasonably quick. Yeah, yeah, I'd say. <laughs> well, a car driver tested this particular car in 2000, 2001. Ran 125 and a quarter. The way it's geared, it'll only run 170 something. Is that all? You rarely find anything that'll run with it. And it's just pussycat docile, put around on the street. Chuck, this is awesome. A Lister C4 running gear, 430 engine. I yep. love this car, man. 2,000 pounds. You're so my you hero. Uh, thanks. <laughs> nice. Well, Mike, this is a really interesting car. This is a 
a 41 Ford, what, Super, two, super two, Deluxe? Two-door sedan, Super Deluxe. This is a stock color, right? Exactly. I tried to keep it old school, like the car I couldn't have in high school. <laughs> you see a lot of 40 Fords. Oh, yeah. But you don't see a lot of 41s. No, they're not that plentiful. They made them part of the year, and then the war broke out. Well, okay, so, so this one was built December 10th of 1941. Oh, so, so what? Three days after, after Pearl, Pearl Harbor. Harbor. Wow. Yeah. What I love about it, again, I mean, she's stock looking, but <laughs> not here. <laughs> exactly. I, I love what you've done with this flathead. I mean, you got it's, the offy heads on it. It's an original 41 motor, which was the last year for the small 221 cubic inch motor. Yeah. But then I've got a four inch Eagle billet crank. Wow. H-beam rods, Ross racing pistons, and we put all small block Chevy intake and exhaust, which are 100 thousandths bigger than the early Ford. Uh -huh. It just kept getting taller. <laughs> <laughs> I love your headers here. The reason for those is this car came with an optional town and country horn, which are long oh, yeah, diesel right. type horns over right. there. And I wanted to save them. And so the only place I could come with the headers was up and, and down over into and the down. wheel so there, so, Yeah, I see them down in there. Yeah. And it's just, it's more, I mean, you hardly even notice it because well, it follows the people, contour people so People well. look at the car because I made new running boards too, uh -huh. of course. You know, your interior is like, again, this is like original 41, isn't it? Yeah, it is. This is a reproduction of all the original fabrics. Even this, this fabric yeah, pattern? The, the pattern oh, and everything. Man. The dash and the window frames in 1941 were all hand painted with wood grain. Right. And I found a man in Hemmings that did it for Ford back in the day. And did it beautifully. So I glass beaded them, primed them, made a special box to put them in and shipped them to him. And, and he wood grained all the... By hand. The, How about the plastic here, which was, you know, I mean, a that was... a reproduction piece. Okay. The only was... reproduction is the radio bezel uh -huh. and that piece. All the rest of it are the original pieces. Gosh, even headliner's done beautifully. Yep. I mean, this is just gorgeous, <laughs> Thank man. you. So you really haven't done many body mods, right? It was right. a lot of work in the fenders and to get them to look the same. The front was kind of easy. It's real subtle, too. I mean, uh -huh. you really would have to know the car to know you've done anything to exactly. the fenders. Stock interior, you know, original color, mm -hmm. and then this magnificent flathead. It's awesome, like 1941 Ford Super Deluxe Right. with just a fabulous flathead. Thanks for bringing Thank it you. out, man. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you very much. Well, Tony, <laughs> these are both really cool. Yeah, they are. Nobody sees them anymore. Well, in a pair, too. I mean, these, what, they're both 63 Rambler Americans, yes, right? Yes, sir. But they're also both 440s. Right. Did 440 mean anything? Uh, it was the trim of the car and supposedly how many miles it gets to a tank of gas. How big a tank's it got? 22 gallons. <laughs> wow. These are uh, really cool little cars and you don't see them anymore. No, you don't. When you do see them, it's like, um, is that a Studi Lark? Is that a Ford Falcon? What is that? Um, but it's a Rambler it's American. It's a Rambler American. I mean, is this actually a stock color combo? Yes, sir. Uh, of course, going to go with frost white. It was one of the less popular colors, actually. You don't see a lot of them painted this I don't, color. I, and I don't know why, because I'm telling you, this is a sharp looking little car. Yes, sir, it is. I thought so, too. I think what, what drew me to this car, though, was this interior. This is gorgeous. It's all original. I redid the front seat skins because they got the most wear. But everything else is original. I even have a set of mats that came with the car in 1963. Two shifters? Yes, sir. It's a three-speed with overdrive. Well, you know, in the, in the, the two ovals, the glove box and then the uh, gauge cluster with that kind of sun ray look, it's, it's, I mean, it's really cool. And what are these? What's that? That's air conditioning vents. It actually has AC, this thing? It did, but it, it, it don't it anymore. Don't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Got everything going on. And the fake uh, convertible hardtop? Yes, sir. And again, you get back here and, and, and it does. It's like, is it Studi? Is it Rambler? What is it? It's, it's Rambler. Rambler. <laughs> 440. And what's this, what's this little designation? That's Hearst. It means it has a Hearst shifter package in it. It does? And yes, sir. It's a 440 Hearst. It, it came that way? Yes, sir. That is amazing. So what, what power is an American? It's a little six <laughs> cylinder? Yes, a little 196 uh, inch six cylinder that pulls 105 horsepower. Ooh, let's go look at that. Oh yeah, this one is a 50,000 mile original car, so the engine bay looks like 50,000 miles. 50,000 miles. Oh yeah, so she's a this is a this is a working engine, isn't it? Yes sir. You know, people spend a lot of money on them and don't drive them. Cars were made to be driven and especially these things. So this is a this is a straight six. Was it a special option engine too? The only special option it has what's called a power pack, which means it has a two barrel Carter carburetor on it. Uh -huh. Oh, versus so, a single throat? Versus, versus a single <laughs> a single throat holly. So this is this is the big one with the two barrel. Right. And it, uh, <laughs> over the standard one barrel, it 
gives it another 12 horsepower. 63 Rambler American 440s, convertible yes, hardtop. Yes. Wow, Tony, thanks for bringing that out. Thank I you, love sir. that car, man. Oh, I love it, man. Well, Jim, there's there's a lot of car here. Uh, <laughs> a lot there of cars. This is a 65, 65 Grand, Grand Prix. I love these cars, but man, what grabbed me was this purple, this amethyst color. Now, in Chevy, they called this, I think, Evening Orchid. Evening Orchid is correct, and Pontiac called it Iris Mist. Iris Mist. It's such a big car to be sporting this sort of pastel, <laughs> you know, lavender. <laughs> it's good so, in the springtime. It is. It's so cool. <laughs> and, you know, I had never really noticed on these things how much chrome there is uh, on these headlights. Yeah. Is that all cast also? Yes. Cheers. Such a Pontiac front end. I mean, you know, the beak up here. Got the beak. And this is a Grand Prix thing, right? These, yes, the, the driving lights, yes. Man, and again, not only the beak, but you know, the arrow, there's just arrowheads everywhere. This arrowhead here yep. on the hood, just magnificent. Those are eight lug wheels, eight right? Eight lug wheels. Was that? So the hub stays there when you take the rim off. The oh, really? The hub will stay there. That's part of uh, the drum brake. Beautiful interior. Yeah, thank you. You know, again, I mean, the thing just looks show. I love that steering wheel. Part yeah, this, uh, transparent and part color. Well, they put a little smoke to it, which is what the factory would do. If you've uh -huh. got a burgundy interior, the wheel would have a little clear plastic, but a little burgundy tint. Oh, okay. And yeah. you haven't uh, changed the dash no, at all? That's the original? No. My and 65 goodness. was the first year for the climate control. So the one like, that looks like a little radio next to the radio. Oh, that's a climate control? That's climate control. So you control. would kind of dial in what you wanted? Right. This is a big, I mean, this is a big car. Your passenger is almost in another zip code. <laughs> <laughs> Great tail lights, you know, very distinctive Pontiac. And this too is cast. Is it's all correct? cast. Man. Yep. Yeah, you hit that, there's no taking the dent out. It just no. breaks. Yep. Badged 421, is that what you have? Yeah. Wow, let's go look at it, man. Oh, and it's tri-power. Yeah. How cool. Is that factory tri in, Factory in tri power in 65. This wow. one has the hydraulic engine, uh -huh. hydraulic cam. They were under 800, were made, uh, Pontiacs in general, with this 421, wow. 356 horsepower. Yeah, you don't see it. Is, is that actually, so that's your AC here, right? Yes. Okay. And wow. that was one of the reasons why I, the car was striking to me was the air conditioning. Georgia, you need you air conditioning. You kind of do need that, don't you? You do need air conditioning. <laughs> man, oh man. Boom. So 65 Pontiac Grand Prix 421 Tri-Power. 421 Tri-Power. Iris I Mist. Iris Mist. Very nice, Jim. Thanks for bringing it out. Thank you. It's a... Uh, Interesting display here. I didn't realize my friend Jay Leno was going to be at the show today. He is, yeah, but he <laughs> and he has his minky wrench and his croissant his wrench. Croissant wrench, yes, <laughs> and, and wine and cheese, which so. is appropriate because we're standing in front of a French car. That's true. A Citroën. Yes, Citroën. Yes, so two CV. Two CV. Now this car, to me, this is like a '30s design. But what year is this? '87. They've made this '39 design up through '87. Through the early '90s. Really? Yes. So one of the wild things about this car is the way these windows are set up. Is this, was this a stock design? It's very standard from 39 on, and they just hinge up and down. No power windows, no crank. And this is ventilated from inside. This, this gate well, opens. That, so the whole thing becomes yes. the, oh, yeah. how nice. And I mean, it looks like lawn chairs. But they are lawn chairs. <laughs> but this is standard uh, seating from cars of this vintage. Are they removable or not? Yes, they easily. Really pop them yeah, right out? we take them out for picnics and they <laughs> pop right out. Well, the shifter is also, it's a, it's a push pull, isn't it? It is. It's like a, if you've ever used a laundromat and put quarters in it's it, kind of like you it. can shift it in and out. And I love your uh, gauging there. Well, that's a Dennis gauge. That's a Dennis gauge, gauge over there? Yes, yes. <laughs> This is what's wild about it, though, because the two CVs, I've never seen one that's been made into, in essence, a wagon. This was customized uh, in Switzerland and made into a station wagon. This is one of two made. And then you have a skylight? In this car, it is, but that's the back window of a car. I don't know why they didn't make this. I mean, this would be a great it, utility vehicle. Yes, it's a great uh, resort car or beach car. <laughs> yeah, it's just a, it's a happy car. The original car you can see is, is here, and this was extended back Uh huh. just a little bit. Amazing. And escargot, escargot. spelled a little. It's a Georgia spelling of escargot. <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's go in and, and have a look at the Power plant that's under the hood, I'm sure it's Power, a powerless plant. The powerless plant. 
<laughs> what? What are you laughing? This is this is this is an extra power boost. It's a 28 horsepower, 50 pound torque engine, and this gives it a little boost. There's a little going boost. Up, it, going it is. Up it's, the it's, hills. it's like nitrous. Yeah. So, so is it a four cylinder? It's a two cylinder. Parallel. It's a post. Uh, it's a, a pose. Boxster post, air cooled, four wow. cycle, Hemi engine. It truly is Hemi. It, it is a Hemi engine. This is a total, and this yeah, just this, makes right, it, just yeah. totally makes it. So an 87, I can't believe it, but an 87 yeah. two CV Citroën that's been modified into a station wagon. Steve, it's awesome. Uh, thank you, This Dennis. thing's a kick. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Good fun. Oh man, the cruising to the oldies car show here in Sonora, Georgia is a blast. You know, this is the town where they film The Walking Dead, but today it's all about cars, cars, cars. cars.